Make sure you watch to the end of this video because something amazing happens. Right, let's have a look at these little batteries then because this one has gone completely dead. There's nothing in that whatsoever. Um, and I will test it with the multimeter in a minute. But I've also got this one which is a genuine Ryobi battery. Um, it's still showing three bars on there. But there's no power coming out. You, if you test this, it's power, but it won't do anything in at all. So we'll have a look at this one after. This is the one that I'm most interested in because these are lithium batteries. And I'm aware that you can... They can run right too low and then you have to spike them a little bit to get a little bit more power in the batteries and then they'll start to charge again because there's a bit of there's a circuit board in here which is supposed to regulate the voltage within the battery and stops it from getting too low and it should just cut the power straight away. But sometimes they don't always work. And this battery, I don't know what I think this was on a drill or something, and it stopped. This battery was on a hedge cutter and it just run too low and uh, I don't know what's going on with that but um, I've done this method in the past and it worked very good so let's see how much voltage we've got in this one and I'm going to prove to you that we've got no voltage in it whatsoever we put the uh, oh, that's around the wrong way put that on there now there's no voltage in there at all so there's two methods that you can do, but the one I'm going to do, let's just double check to make sure that it's not going to charge. It's probably going to charge, no, there we go. Both of them flashing, according to that, means the battery is dead. No good, needs to go in the bin. So, we've got that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it apart. Now the method that I did before on my old battery was I drilled holes in the side of it but for this one I'm going to take it apart and have a little look inside and we'll try and get a bit of power going in there hopefully we should be able to because this isn't a genuine Ryobi battery this is a flag power or whatever they're called all you need is a power supply and some cables a couple of wires a positive and a negative you just got to make sure you don't get them around the wrong way, is what you got to do. Because batteries can be dangerous. They can be very dangerous. I don't think I need to try and do that one anyway, but we'll find out. There we go. There we go, that soon got that apart, didn't it? That's it. Lovely. Right, so we've got the positive and we've got the negative. So let's read to see how many volts. Will come out of there now. Positive, negative. We've got 0 0.5, 0 0.5 of a volt on them now should get a bit more if we spike them a little bit. Let's go and get the power supply and a few wires. Right, so we've got our ordinary power supply here. It's, uh, what is it, 30 amp, but it doesn't really matter. So what happens is we've got two wires, negative and positive. And so we've still got no voltage in our battery. So if we turn the power supply on, we've now got power going to our two little cables. So all we should have to do is put that on there and put that on there. give it a little bit of a spike you see the little light lit up so if we turn that off so we've got no more power going to our little wires and we see how much um, power we've got in here now we've got 5.9 volts in them batteries now hopefully you can see that, we'll put that on there, that on there hmm. still can't see it can you, oh there you go, now you can see it put that on there, that on there 5.10, 5.9 so I wonder if that's enough, 4.1, 4, 4.8, it's going down rapidly, so I'm going to try and put it back together and uh, we'll put it in the charger and see whether it's going to charge or not. So let's just, I'll just pause there because I have to go and get a drink, I was a little bit thirsty. So let's put 
this in here. Got this little bit of metal that came out. Right, that's better. I had that little bit of annoying bit of metal in there that was just being a bit of a pain. So let's put that back in there like that. So we've got a bit of a bit of a noise now. If we put that in there. Is it going to charge? No, nope, still not charging. Maybe we've got to give it a little bit more, a little bit more of a juice in there, perhaps. Right, I put a little bit more power in there now. We had 10 volts in there, and we've just got a little red flashing light now, which means that it's too cold or too hot. So we're just going to have to wait for that to go. And then we'll have to see what happens. Hopefully, hopefully it should charge. It should do, the other one did anyway. There we go. We're now on a, I'm not, I don't want to move it in case it disconnects, but we're now, you can see we're now charging. So that's taken a charge that one now. That's fantastic. I've just plugged this other one in while I was waiting and we're getting the, um, the one flashing red light, which is still got a red tick on the battery. So, We'll wait and see what happens with that one. But this one's taken a charge. So that's fantastic. We'll have to see it takes a full charge and see what it's like. Well, I've just been out, come back, and it's got a full charge. It took roughly about 40 minutes to give that a full charge. So I'm just going to put this little bit of silver back in the battery, put it back together, put the screws back in, and uh, then I'll give it a test. It is quite warm, but that's what you'd expect considering it's just had a full charge from zero. So I'm going to put this all back together. I've got to put this little bit of silver bit back in here. It was a pain to get this back in last time. I might have a better technique for it this time. Yeah, that's it. That's a better technique. Lovely. I'm going to use my little screwdriver to get it into place, I think. So that back in there. Now I've got to try and keep that down. Put that in there like that. Lovely. Clip all that in. Put the screws back in. And then I'm going to give it a test. I'll stick it in the drill and give it a test. But I'm going to go and use this in the mower, in the uh, lawn mower, to cut the grass. So we'll see if it's going to last and how long it lasts and hopefully the cells aren't damaged from going down so low because it can damage the battery, it can damage the cells taking them down that low. It can, they can become damaged. Um, if you notice there, that's still, that's only saying two bars, even though that charger says it has a full charge. But it might take a few charges to get back to normal. Um, they could be damaged. I really don't know. This is just an experiment to see whether it actually did work. And we made it take a charge, so there's some positive there somewhere. And we'll just have to see how good it is. Whether it does actually last. And whether that little... Um, whether that indicator comes back to life and tells accurate again. But I don't think Ryobi batteries are particularly um, reliable anyway by the sounds of it because it's not just me that's had trouble. Let's see if it will take any more of a charge. See now it's gone back to doing that again, which is interesting. Right, let's go and put it in something. Put it in this drill. We've got power. We've got power in there. So let's go put it in the mower and see how long it lasts in the mower. gonna be lost and we might end up back at square one something happened I had it on that didn't I and it was flashing with just a flashing red light which on there the flashing red light with it, it with no light here is a tick um, and it was doing that I went away for about an hour forgot about it come back in the garage and I realized that this was on and it was charging 
and then it charged all the way and I'm thinking this is brilliant so I took it off pressed the button and we've got all four back up there again this is absolutely fantastic and I've put it in numerous different tools and it seems to be working on full power doesn't seem to be any issue with it whatsoever and I'm now going to use this and I'm going to see how it actually goes but it suggests that what I've just done to it actually worked because I don't know about you but I was actually wondering whether it was going to work or not it got it back to life and it got it just going again um, but it only read on the two didn't it if you remember it only read two bars when the charger said it was fully charged on the two bars the lawnmower I put it in the 18 volt you know you saw me you saw what I done I put it in the mower and I put it in the strimmer and it worked perfectly fine for a good six or seven minutes on both of those tools but when I put it back in the charger afterwards as you saw it went back to the flashing red which I thought meant that it was going to be you know a see you later battery sort of thing but it seems to have revived itself and so it may be good after all so you know hopefully you took something good away from this